Francesco here again, and so in this experiment, we're going to do the graphical analysis of 1D motion. So the main purpose of this experiment is just to get you comfortable with working with the smart part as well as the spark view. Um, but a secondary, uh, a second, but just as important goal of this experiment is for you to get used to the relationship between position, velocity, and acceleration, and looking at them graphically. Um, so, in the experiment, we got our smart cart. I did want to point out that if you look carefully at smart cart up here, there's like some arrows with X, Y, Z. So the plus X direction is going to be that direction, and we're going to try to keep that uh, constant here. All right, so I'm going to put this over here on the right, and so when it moves left, it's going to go in the positive uh, direction. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'll find over here my start button, and start, and go. Oh, I need to stop that faster. All right. All right, so that went pretty fast. It was a little bit not quite constant velocity, but it was pretty close. All right, I think that's pretty good data for you guys. And you can see where I, it's sitting there for a little bit before it's moving. And you, can, ooh, sorry. and you can also see where it's sitting there a little bit uh, after I stopped it. Uh, so you really want to make sure you only focus on um, basically the important part, which is where there's an actual slope, where there's actual change in position. But that's what's important for this experiment. So that's part one. Collected some data on constant velocity, or very close to constant velocity. And here we go, part two. Oh, yeah, okay. Now we're moving on part two constant acceleration. Um, so, in this, uh, in this, we're going to actually get a little bit over here. And it keeps, oh, no, that's fine. I got some textbooks, and so we're going to be working at a slope, and so we can see, uh, sorry, it does get a little bit crazy sometimes. These are some of the quirks that you fortunately don't have to deal with um, because you're not doing an experiment. All right, um, so we got a smart card up here, and just because there's an incline, um, it should speed up. Look, so let's see if it speeds up as it rolls down. It should get faster and faster. All right, so we're gonna get ready, hold steady, okay, and start. And yeah, you can definitely see that it's speeding up, the velocity's increasing. All right, that's pretty good. And then you can see maybe this kind of funny looking stuff where I've stopped it, but not suddenly stopped it, but. All right, so ignore the funny looking stuff, just look at that straight line where velocity is uh, increasing uh, constantly or relatively close to constant. All right, and third part, here we go. Well, nice looking stuff. All right, so in part three, constant negative direction acceleration, we're actually going to um, put our books over on the other side, um, like that. All right, so it actually has to kind of climb the hill. So I'm gonna start again over here on what's my right, your left, um, and I'm going to Push it hard just to give it an initial velocity, and hopefully, with that initial velocity, it will make it up the hill at least somewhat, and then it will probably start coming back down again. Um, it might take a couple of trials to get just the right uh, starting velocity um, so that it goes up a distance and then comes back. But let's uh, get going. All right, got it. I have to push it hard. All right, start. Oh, that one actually jumped off of, it actually hit the rubber band. Okay, so that one was too hard. I'm just going to delete that one, delete last run because that wasn't uh, what we wanted. All right, so too hard. Okay, do a little bit softer this time. All right, okay, start and... Oh, <laughs> that was not bad. Let me see if I can do a better one go a little bit because it didn't go as far. I'd like to give you more data. All right, so uh, we'll leave that there for now and we'll press start. And okay, hey, I think that was pretty good. All right, 
So we can see I gave it an initial velocity somewhere, we'll just call it uh, 1 meters per second, and it's going positive, it goes through zero, and then it goes negative again, it comes back, and then there's all these kind of funny things over here about how I stopped it. But again, you guys can just ignore the funny curve things, okay? Just, just focus on, on that straight line part. All right, so that's it for uh, this experiment. Very straightforward, doing three different uh, kind of acceleration um, uh, platforms or, or situations, ge geographies kind of, and uh, you guys analyze those three graphs that I'm going to give you um, and come to some conclusions and hopefully you'll be more comfortable with SparkView and more comfortable with position velocity acceleration at the end of this. Right? See you on the next video.